Hello. Hello to all of you. Welcome. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Hi, nice to see you. Welcome to the class. I hope you're doing well. Hello, Zaira. Where are you in this moment? Your spot is different. El lugar donde Hi, estás teacher. será diferente. Like if you were in a different location. <laughs> are you in your house? My scenario is different yes. for my daughter. Ah. The, the class. She has your spot. Ella tiene su lugar hoy. She has your spot. Ah, Not okay. finished. No yet. That is why. Okay. Yeah. All of us have our our spot, right? Ya todos tienen como su lugar. So yeah, when I see something different, I can I can tell. Okay, well, good to see you guys. I'm going to take the attendance in this moment. So let's begin. Ana Beatriz. Present. Okay. Ana Lilian. Brian Javier. Carlos Antonio. Present teacher. Thank Present. you, Lily. Okay. Eh, Carlos. Okay. Elizabeth Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Arnoldo Mazariego. Jose Galileo. Present, ma'am. Thank you. Jose Jonathan. Teacher, I'm here. Arnoldo. Okay. Jose Rodrigo. Present teacher. Thank you, Rodrigo. Juan Carlos Rivas. Laura Carolina. María Concepción. Present. María Elena. Mayra Moreno. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you, Elena. Mayra, no. Nelson. Nelson Gabarrete. No. Okay. Omar Francisco. Oscar Arnulfo. Ya lo vi, Oscar. Continue driving. Zaira Marleni. Present Wendy teacher. Maribel. Present teacher. Thank you. And Jenny Santos. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you. Hoy no les he cambiado mucho los nombres, right? Todavía no. No los he <laughs> combinado. Okay, well, good to see you here. Okay, we're going to start by brainstorming different ingredients that we use for different recipes. Vamos a empezar con un pequeño juego de vocabulario donde ustedes me van a decir diferentes ingredientes para diferentes recetas. Okay, for example, ingredients to make chocolate cake. Por ejemplo, para hacer un pastel de chocolate y vamos a decir uno cada uno. Okay. If you repeat, you lose. Si repiten el que ya dijeron, pierden su turno. Okay. So let's begin. Vamos a ir en orden de lista también. Okay. So let's begin with ingredients to, to make rice. Rice, arroz, rice. Ana. Is oint uh, uh, only one, only one, uh, Anna. Solo oh, uno. Uh -huh. But thank you, Lily. Uh, oh, another right. one. Another ingredient. Lo repite, por favor. Ingredients to make rice. Rice, arroz, rice. Oh. Vegetal. Which one? Vegetal. ¿Cuál? Which one? Mm. Zanahoria. In Zanahoria. Okay. All right, Lily. 
Look for it. Look for it y me dice si lo encuentra. Zanahoria. But thank you, Lily. Next, Carlos. Another ingredient to make rice. Water. Water. Ya veo que cocina. You cook. Thank you, Carlos. Next, Eli. Eli is busy, I think. Arnoldo, another ingredient. Just one, Arnoldo. Sweet corn. Mm, okay, thank you. We can use corn. Galileo. What else do we need? Uh, salt. Salt, correct. Jonathan is not here, right? Rodrigo. Egg. Egg. Uh -huh. Some people use egg, like Chinese rice, right? Thank you. And then Elena, next. Tomato. Tomato, okay. Then Zaira. Onion. Onion. Wendy. More things, Wendy. Rice. <laughs> Rice, nadie lo había dicho, right? Rice, Jenny. Corn? Corn, or Arnoldo said Hola. that one. Corn. Arnoldo said that one, but thank you, Jenny. <laughs> And Lily, did you find the word? Encontró la palabra, Lily. La de zanahoria. Yes. So how Carrot. do we say it? Carrot. That's the one. Okay, thank you. Now, second recipe. Pizza. Ingredients to make pizza. We start from the bottom. Jenny, you go first. Pizza, an ingredient. Cheese. Cheese. Wendy. Pepperoni. Zaira. Ham. Mushrooms. Yes. Ajá, uh -huh, Oscar. Mushrooms. Thank you. Elena. Next. Are you there, Elena? No. Okay. Laura. An, okay, ing sí. an ingredient to make pizza. Flow. Flower, yes, thank you. Flower. Mm -hmm. Hello, Laura, do you hear me? Mm -hmm. Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening. Uh, ing ingredients, the pizza. One. One, yes. Onion. Onions, yes, we need onions. Thank you. Then, Rodrigo. Another one. Eh, abrina, abrina, ¿cómo se But Elena said that one. Flower. Ah. Elena said it. Ah, flower. Okay. Egg. egg. Eggs. Risa. Really? We need eggs. I don't remember eggs. Eh, vegetal, tomate. Tomate. <laughs> Ah, okay. So Galileo says no, right? No okay. eggs in the pizza. Okay. okay. But it could it could be we can create any types of pizza. Okay, Arnoldo. Tomato, tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. Yes. And then Galileo. Sorry, I skipped you. What about you? You know the a lot. Ingredient. Uh -huh. The principal ingredient is dog. Dog, yes. Thank you, Galileo. And now, Eli, are you here, Eli? No? Carlos, more ideas, Carlos? Pineapple. Pineapple, that's my favorite one. Hawaiian uh, Hawa pizza. Hawaiian, Hawaiian pizza. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hello, yeah, I teacher. love that one. Hello. Uh, yes, yes, I did. 
Can you repeat the question, please? An que no, haya, no he terminado de llegar, pero quiero ver si le puedo contestar. One ingredient. ¿Cómo? One ingredient to make pizza. Pe cheese? Pepperoni? Somebody said cheese, but yes, I know you were not like really here. So it's okay, Francis. Uh, Ellie, <laughs> thank you. Lily, next. Es que se... Teacher, es que se le oye cortado, pero no sé si ah, es porque okay. no ha llegado a la casa y el internet está fallando. Yo escucho no. así también. The same. All the time. Ok, me avisan si yes. continúa. Me avisan si continúa y voy a ir a tratar de arreglarlo. In one minute. Let me know if it continues. Ok, so I was with Lily. Uh oh, se frizo. No. Okay, give me one moment. Let me try to fix it. I'll be right back. Okay, and now, is it better or the same? Siempre se escucha un poco cortado, teacher. The same. Ah, okay. Let me, let me try. And now, do you hear me better with the camera off or the same? Better. Better? ¿Me escuchan mejor? Menos cortado? Better, teacher. Ok, voy a mantener así la cámara un momento en lo que se restablece mi connection. But let's continue in that case. I'm going to share with you pictures. Ok, here you can see some pictures. And we're going to practice what we studied yesterday. Vamos a practicar un poquito lo que vimos ayer. Yesterday we studied sequence sequence words, right? We have to tell a story using sequence words. Vamos a utilizar esas palabras para crear una conexión o relación entre las pictures acá. Okay. Te tenemos que crear la, la historia utilizando las pictures y sequence words. Ok, nos va, vamos a empezar siempre en orden de lista. Ahí vamos con Lily. Así que vamos con Ana. Ok, Ana, you start the story. Choose one of the pictures. One of the pictures. Use your imagination. Uh, here's a man uh, buys in holes. Hands, look. You said first the man buys. Buys, uh huh. Uh, look. Uh, and. Gaina says the hand, but that's. Hand, yes. But yes. sorry, dice que hey. compró o compra gallinas. Uh, compró, uh huh. Compró. Ok, podemos decir the man first, the man bought hands. All right. Could you repeat? Uh, 
appears, demands, demands, but a uh, duke and coat. And, and hands. And okay. Okay. Thank you, Anna. Now, Jenny, continue the story, please. Continue eh. the idea. No, no capté bien la, la primera idea. Okay, uh, I will repeat. She says, the man bought, de comprar, compró, bought, hens, a dog, and sheep. Okay. Uh, the dog is sad because mm -hmm. the farmer uh, wants want uh, cook <laughs> cook the dog so cook in, the dog in in the hands is uh, a <laughs> comforting comforting the the dog okay thank you now let's continue with let me see here wendy wendy you're next Jenny, talk about this picture. Ya hablaron de esta. You have to continue with that one. Uh -huh. uh, the cone. The cone. You can use a connector. Next, later, after that. Ah, Ajá, ok. Uh, second? No. Third. Podría ser tercero, porque ya. Ya ah. Jenny ocupó second, prácticamente. Very much. Ok. Uh, then. Uh -huh. Then the call. Uh -huh. uh, say. Hay que contar, no sé cómo se dice. Contar, count. Count. Contar de decir o contar count. de números. No, contar de decir. Ah, say. told. Told. Said, in past tense. The code, the code told a history. Ah, told a story. Uh -huh. Told a story. Told a story. Okay. To whom? Para quién? To whom? For farm ah, animals? For sheep. For sheep. Okay, thank you. Do you hear for me? Ships. Do you hear me well? Me escuchan bien, aunque active la cámara. Or you don't? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes, yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. Ah, pues ya, yeah. está so, so better. Okay, thank you, Wendy. Let's continue now with uh, Elena. Elena, finally, Elena, or in the end? In the end, um, all them living happy forever. <laughs> okay, and what about this picture? You utilizando esta picture? And the duck. And the dog and everyone live happily mm -hmm. ever after. Okay, all right, Elena. Thank you. Picture number two. Okay, picture number two. Hold, hold on. Okay, so now let's continue with uh, Rodrigo. Rodrigo, you start the story. You can use first. First of all, at the beginning, use one. Okay, veamos. The three, uh, ¿qué son? Gallinas, ¿cómo se dice gallina? Hens. Hen. Eh, after that far bullying, them, they say, you know, hands, hands, him, uh, take them to his farm. Repeat one more time, please. After bullying, después de comprar, the, mm -hmm. the hen, 
Mm -hmm. I'll take them to his farm. Yo lo llevo a su granja. Ah, in, took. Oh, yes. Took. Took, took them okay. to the took farm. Them to the to his farm. Yes. Okay. So the man took the hens to the farm. That is what you said. Okay. No, solo I'm just confirming. Solo si si entendí bien. El hombre llevó a las gallinas a la a la Ah, después, de ah, después de comprar la gallina, la llevó a su granja. Ah, ah, ok. All right. Thank you. Galileo, continue, please. Continue that story. Afterwards, Rodrigo said, mm -hmm. the chickens are happy in the farm. And the man are relaxed in, her, in his bed, thinking about... His chicken, his chicken okay. are, are happy. <laughs> okay, thank you. Now you can say the man, the man is in this case because we only have one. The man is happy thinking about the, the chickens or hens. Okay. Thank you, Galileo. Thank you. Arnoldo, we still have one, one more picture. I don't really know what that is. It looks like food, desserts, but I'm not sure. Maybe our desserts or okay. a shop, a shop Use your imagination uh -huh, to connect the ideas. Next, the man sings in a gift for his wife and sings in a, in a box of delicious chocolate. Okay, the wife. You introduce the wife. Okay, thank you, Arnoldo. Next picture. Next picture, and we continue with, let me look at the list. Ellie, Ellie, are you available, Ellie? No, okay, so in that case, you go no, first. You go, okay, don't worry, you go first, Carlos. You have the, the privilege of choosing the first picture. Tiene el privilegio de escoger con cuál comienza, Carlos. Okay, so you can okay. choose. Um, fish, the dog, um, coming in the back for the far. The, you said first the dog came Duke, back. Duke, Duke. Oh, the dog, uh huh, came back uh, to the farm. Lleva. Ah, lleva, carry. Lleva. Ah, carry, carry the cow for the farmer. This one. Oh, okay. Esta. Yes. Ah, okay. Okay. Thank you, Carlos. Laura, continue the story, please. Mm. Uh, second, the dog uh, mm. pick up, pick up the dog, uh, pick up the chick to give the a bath. This one, number two. Repeat. Sí. Second, uh, the dog. Second, the dog mm -hmm. uh, pick up o para subir o lleva o carrier sería. Uh -huh. uh, the dog carries the chick to give the a bath. In the bath. In carry, the pack. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. carry the ship in the pack. Thank you, Laura. <laughs> Omar, are you there, Omar? Yes, miss. Okay, can you continue the story? Okay. You have two pictures available. The one about the dog doing the laundry and the dishes, the dirty dishes. Yes. Que lleva la vaca. ¿Mm? <laughs> I'm sorry, what did you say? Y the dog, the dog guys, the cow to eat it, eat it the grace uh, drink water. The dog took the yes. cow yes. to drink. To eat, ah, to eat the to grass eat. and drink water. Ah, okay. Okay, thank you, Omar. And now, Lily. Lily, can you help us? One more picture. 
the the two left before sorry sorry after the two after the two left went for a while with the cow and and leave dirty dishes and wash them. Ah, okay. He washed the, the dishes. Yes. Okay, Lily. Thank you. Thank you very much for your help. Okay, let's continue in the book. I'm going to share the book. And today we will read. We will read the, the little conversation we have in the book. This is page 19. Okay, if you want to open the book with me, it will be page number 19. Okay, I'm going to zoom in so you can see it better. Javier and the manager, Mr. Moore. So it says, sir, I forgot how to process a payment. All right, first, you give the options to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put it in the register or you slide the card through the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt, okay, the receipt, and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the, re the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Okay, now it is your turn. Let's start with Anna and Jenny. Anna, you are Javier, and Jenny, you are the manager. Sir, I forgot how to process a payment. All right, first, you give the options to pay in cash or credit card. After that, Take the payment and put it in the register, register or your slide, the card through, the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer sings the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Hey, thank you, Anna and, and Jenny. Good pronunciation. Just one little comment, Anna. Sir, that is the, the way it sounds. Sir. Sir. Uh huh. Sir. That's the way it sounds. Thank you. I'm going to I'm going to show you a picture of the card reader. This is a card reader. We call it. Pause, I think that is what we call it, right? That is the card reader when we say that. Slide, imagine this is a credit card or debit card. You slide, you introduce, introduce the credit card into the, the card register. So that is to slide the card through the card reader. Okay, I wanted to tell you about, about that. If not, at the end, you can tell me if you have questions. Okay, let's continue. Let's listen to, hold on, Lily. Okay, Lily and Wendy. Okay, Wendy, you are the manager and Javier will be Lily. Okay. I forgot how to process a payment. All right. First, you give the options to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put, put in, in the register or you slide the card through the card reader. Then the register prints the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer sings 
the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Thank you, Wendy and Lily. Okay, I'm just going to help you with the words you see here. Through. Would you please repeat? Through. 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 Uh -huh. Register. Through. Register. Re uh -huh. Register. Correct. Register. Thank you, Wendy and Lily. Brian and Carlos. Brian, you're Javier. Carlos, you are the manager. Okay, teacher. Sir, I forgot how to process a payment. All right. First, you give the option to pay it in the cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put in the registry or you slide the card through the card readers. Then the regi register um, prints the re receipt Receipt, 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 and mm -hmm. receipt, and you give the in the back to the customer. Finally, the customer signs the receipt, and you keep a copy. Thanks, you, Mr. Moore. Okay, thank you, both of you. So, Carlos, this is um, register. That is the pronunciation of that one. Register. Register. Uh -huh. And the other one is this one. Reader. Reader. It sounds like reader. R. Suena como R. Un poco. Reader. Reader. Uh -huh. Reader. Thank you, Carlos and Brian. Thank you. Okay. Ellie, can you participate? Ellie or not yet? Yes. You can. Sure. Okay. Yes. All right. So let's listen to Ellie, Ellie and Arnoldo. Okay, Eli, you're the manager, and Arnoldo, you are Javier. Sir, okay. I forgot how to go to the payment. Eli? Eli? Yes, yes, sir. Ah, okay. <laughs> I am manager, true? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right, first. You give me the option to pay more to teacher. Teacher, I disculpe que acabo de venir. Ah, El de ah, también lo voy a decir. Donde dice ah, more? It's the same. Es el manager y el apellido. Manager more. Ah, I'm sorry, teacher. It's okay. All right. First, you give me the option to pay in, in cash or credit card. As the verdad, say the payment and, and put in in the res res or just or you slide the car through the car reader then the register print the receipt and you give me it back to customer finally the customer seeing the receipt and you keep a copy thank you mr moore Okay, thank you guys. This one here is register. That is the, the pronunciation of this. Register and register. through. True, register. True. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now let's continue. Galileo and Rodrigo. Galileo, you'll be Javier and Rodrigo, you'll be the manager. Okay. Uh, sir, I forgot how to process a payment. All right, first, you got the option to pay in cash or credit card. After that, take the payment and put in in the register on you slide the card through the card reader. Then the register print the receipt and you give it back to the customer. Finally, the customer sees the receipt and you keep a copy. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Okay, thank you, both of you. Galileo, can you repeat this word one more time, please? Process. Uh -huh. Okay, yes, that's the intonation. And this one, Rodrigo, would you repeat, please? Yes. Thing. Ah, okay. This one is signs. 
shine. Uh -huh. okay. Sing is shine. like the verb. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Sing and dance, shine. but this one is signs. Shine. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. We will proceed. Do you have questions about the vocabulary? Tienen alguna duda sobre el vocabulary? Something I could help you with? In my case, no, ma'am. You're fine. Okay. And you guys, Lily, do you have questions? Saira? Wendy? No questions, teacher. No questions. Okay. Here we have, I have questions for you. Question one and question two about the conversation. And we will start with uh, Elena. Okay, Elena, question number one. What steps does manager Moore give Javier to process a payment? What are the steps that he gives to make a payment, to process a payment? Mr. Mana, Mr. Monroe explain um, the path for pay and cash or credit card. Um, give the option our client and after that take the payment and put it and register or your slide the card show the card reader then register prints the receipt and you give the back the customer finally the customer sings the receipt and you keep a copy Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, here we have the steps, right? Thank you. It, just remember, Elena, that one will be signs. That oh, will sign. be the, uh -huh, the pronunciation. But yes, you are right, Elena. Thank you very much. Now, question number two, Nelson. What words does the manager use to order the sequence of events? What are the words that he used? to order the events. Oh. <laughs> Do you understand the question? No. ¿Qué palabras? Eh, ¿Qué palabras words? usa? Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Para dar ese orden de secuencia. ¿Qué palabras usa el manager? Aquí está el eh, manager y aquí está Javier. Finish, finish. Mhm. Uh -huh. Ten y final. Yes. Uh -huh. Those are the words we use to order the sequence of events. Thank you, Nelson. Okay. okay. Let's continue. Okay. Here we have difficult customers, situations that happen in, in the restaurants. Uh, okay. okay. Omar, can you read? Situation number one, two, and three, please. The first three situations, Omar. Difficult customers in restaurants. Are you there, Omar? Is that for ahí? Yes, yes, yes. A uh, customer is hungry. Mm -hmm. Sorry, miss. My customer is angry because his food was not delivered on time. Mm -hmm. A customer is very aggressive to one of your employees. Mm -hmm. A customer says he food a uh, topic in his food and that he will not pay to the food. Thank you, Omar. Good job. I will help you with two words. Found. That is the pronunciation of that one. Found. Found. Toothpick. Toothpick. Could you repeat? Toothpick. toothpick. Look at the picture, guys. Okay. They are called toothpick. Okay, thank you, Omar. Now, Oscar, can you participate in this moment? Or not yet, Oscar? Give me 10 minutes, please. Ah, okay, sure. Can you read the next two situations, Saira? 
please. Situation number four and five. Okay. Yes, Saira. Okay. Okay. Uh, a customer is calling mm -hmm. upset because he received the the wrong delivery order. A mm group -hmm. uh, of customers are very upset because the cashier is too slow. Yes, thank you, Saira. Good pronunciation. Okay, new vocabulary, new vocabulary in these problems or situations that you need help with. Hay algún punto que no es entendible? Galileo. Toothpick. Toothpick. Peace. Eso que ve aquí en las pictures, Carito. Esos son toothpicks. Uh -huh. okay. Anything else? Upset. Upset. Uh, it is a synonym of the word angry. Okay. This is another common word, mad. That is another possibility. I'm mad, angry, upset. It's, okay, it's the same. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. And you guys, Jenny, questions? No, teacher. No, okay. No. Lily? Teacher. Uh -huh. teacher. Yes? Getting up to, getting up to have una sola palabra. Getting upset. No, solo upset. Again? Getting Again. es como comenzarse a poner así. Mm, okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, so if you don't have questions, we will have an activity. Okay. We are going to continue using could, might, like, and might want. Vamos a seguir utilizando esos que son los que estamos también practicando y vamos a hacer algo similar a lo que hicimos ayer. Dice acá que vamos a marcar steps that we could use to deal with difficult customers. Ok, I'm going to read the instruction. Ok, it says... Choose one of the situations below and describe five steps that you could use to deal with that difficult customer. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a utilizar siempre las palabras para dar recommendations or suggestions y van a dar cinco pasos. Vamos a utilizar también las palabras de secuencia para ver cómo vamos a lidiar con un customer que esté actuando de esta manera. I'm going to give you an example. Les voy a dar un, un ejemplo. Um, ok. A customer is angry because his, his food was not delivered on time. Este customer está molesto porque no recibió su comida a tiempo. Cinco pasos, cinco recomendaciones de qué hacer para lidiar con él o con esta situación. Y vamos a utilizar siempre las opciones que teníamos ayer. Y si ustedes quieren, pueden, pueden también utilizar should, right? That's another option. Should, could, might, like, and want. Ok. In my case, yo diría... Yo diría que el primer paso es to apologize, disculparse, porque el customer siempre tiene la razón, right? Okay, so I will say, number one, son five steps. First, okay, aquí está mi sequence word. First, 
the wait, wait, waiter should apologize with the customer, okay? So to me, that is the first step. Okay, ¿qué hay que hacer después? Number two, second, next, five. Do you understand? Do you have questions? Questions? No, Laura, clear? Crystal water? Yes, ¿sí entienden todos? ¿O no? Eh, si no llego tengo a una pregunta. Ajá. Teacher, este, este, de un solo, de un solo problema o queja, eh, poner los cinco, las cinco secuencias. Uh -huh. Sí, ¿qué ah, vamos okay. a hacer? Primero, segundo, tercero, en quinto. Okay. Y vamos okay. a utilizar should, por lo menos, guys, traten de variar, no siempre el mismo, usemos diferentes, ok, to practice different options. Podemos agarrar Entonces, cualquier problema, Miss. Ajá, it is optional, you choose. Que los parezca, ok, gracias. Ajá, ok. Should, so, or could. Should, could, is that my like, yeah, so también, it might want. Ah, ok. You have four options here. Ok, let's, let's create the rooms. And if you have questions, remember you can call me and I'll be there. Okay, there are 18 of you, right? No, Maria Concepcion is not here. Um, okay. Y el 5 no les agrada. Okay. Getting upset because the cashier is too slow. Aquí podemos poner varias cosas. Acá. Podemos poner... Hey guys, are you guys okay? Help, teacher. Hello. Are you fine? Están bien? Yes. No sé si. You're good. Ah, okay. All right, so I'm going to leave. I, I was just checking on you. See you later. Number five. Mm -hmm. OK, number five, uh, group of customers are getting offset because Entonces, ¿qué ponemos? Uh, the cashier 
The car share is too slow. Okay. Okay, first step one. Que sea del mismo valor, podríamos decir. Acuérdate. Acuérdate que es que, que quede agradado. Sí, 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 sí. Para, para eso sería. Sería, por ejemplo, como la conciliación, pasos finales, que, que vos le ofreces algo para que el cliente se quede tranquilo. Ejemplo, también puedes hacer como ofrecer un descuento en una siguiente visita, porque si vos le decís de que no pague la comida, simplemente la aceptaría y ya no va a llegar al restaurante. En cambio, si vos, le ofreces, si vos le ofreces un descuento para su próxima visita, Prácticamente estás amarrando al cliente de que no deje de ir al, al, al lugar, pensándolo desde el vista del, del manager. Sí, 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 en esa idea. Lo, lo que tú me dices me parece muy bien, solo que ahorita el mesero eh, se disculpa, luego el mesero llama al manager y el manager es el que va a hacer eh, la conciliación. La negociación, ah, ok. okay. Por eso, en the second, the winner call the manager. Hi guys, sorry to interrupt. Uh, one comment. Second, the waiter and use one word to show recommendation, Carlos. Should, might like, might want, could. Uh -huh. oh. Add that, that word. And remember to vary. Varíen y traten de no usar siempre el mismo para practicar, ¿verdad? Diferentes. Oh. And number two, yes. Rodrigo, today is your session with me. I just wanted to check if you can stay, Rodrigo, with me tonight here, 10 p.m. Okay, no I barely hear you, Rodrigo. Se oye bien lejos cuando habla. Ahora sí. Okay, now it's better. What did you say? Okay, no problem. Same. But you can. Same. Okay, all right. Before I leave, do you have questions for me? Miss, ¿cuándo uh -huh. me toca a mí la sesión? Let me see. Usted es el número, número 16, Omar. Vamos ahorita en el número 9. Así que le toca dentro de como una semana y media, aprox, aproximadamente. Ok. Pero Thank si you. quiere pasar antes, no hay problema. Podríamos cambiarlo para tomorrow, if you wish. Eh, no, eh, como el martes podría ser. Mi ok, envíame un mensaje. Send me a message okay. el día que sí va a venir y que quiere eh, su session y lo ponemos si lo, ese si día. Si lo quiere cambiar ahora, yo puedo el martes, no hay problema. ¿O quiere Tomar. today, Omar? Today, yo, me, okay. yo, tomo el mar, yo tomo el martes, no hay problema. Bye. Aprovechando que estoy aquí. Yo, yo cambio. Yo ok, cambio. te quedas right. tú ahora right. y yo me quedo el martes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hagamos así entonces. Okay, Omar. Do you have any other questions before I leave? No. No. Okay. Un poquito, bueno, a las nueve los voy a enviar de nuevo al room. Traten de terminar para esa hora. If not, vamos a, a poder continuar after nine. Okay, okay. see you later. And to keep the order at no cost. Offer to keep the order and receive a free shipping. Offer to give everything. Uh -huh. the, then the restaurant might want offer to keep the order and receive a free shipping. Sin pago alguno. Uh -huh. Hi, everyone. How I are you doing? Good. You're doing the, well. Yeah. The yes. Ah, okay. I'm glad to hear that. Do you have questions for me? Sí. Mm, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe review the first three steps with with okay. right in this moment. Read first, them, the agent please. should apologize with the customer about the mistake. Mm -hmm. Next, mm -hmm. could ask if the customer has set a change of order. Yes. Then the customer might want offer to keep the order and receive a free shipping. Might want to. Might want to. 
mm -hmm. want to offer. My want to offer, yes. With my want okay. to, my like to. You need the preposition to. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Yes, okay. just that. Let's <laughs> have more and finally. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm glad. Eh, y estamos usando, ¿verdad? También los connectors ahí. Ya los escuché yes, también. Vamos, okay. ver, next, then. Uh -huh. In this y ahí moment, lo cierran también siempre. Con, con... Eh, faltan dos. Entonces podría ser later and finally. Ajá, correct. Ahí los pueden eh, utilizar a como ustedes prefieran. Pero ajá, finally okay. si es para ya el último paso. Ex ok, exactly. un poquito antes de las nueve, en unos three minutes, los voy a regresar allá because I have to take the attendance. Because okay. it's going to be okay. nine, okay? Try to finish. Okay. If not, I will give you like one or two extra minutes. Okay, see you. Okay, teacher. Hi. Teacher. Sorry, el micrófono. Ahorita vi que me acaba de escribir. Se le fue su connection. Yes. Who were you working with? I don't, yo no entré, no entré. You didn't. No, I didn't. Ah, okay. Quiere trabajar aquí para mientras entonces, porque sus compañeros ya, ya van más adelante. Oh, sí, 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 acá. Okay. Did you hear the, the instruction, Elena? Did you hear what they are doing? Uh, ¿Escuchó lo que estaban haciendo ellos? ¿O en lo que estábamos trabajando? Eh, estábamos trabajando en escoger una de las cinco opciones y hacer cinco pasos. Ajá. De una solución. Correct. That is what you have to do. They will be coming back in like two minutes. Y ellos ya van a regresar en two minutes. Y me manda ahí en el chat lo que usted logre ahí hacer. Ok. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome.
Okay, I'm going to start by taking the attendance and then we, we carry on. Okay, Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Lilian. Present. Brian Javier. Brian. Okay, Carlos Antonio. Present. Car eh, Elizabeth Martins. Present teacher. Jose Arnoldo. I'm here, Miss. Galileo Barrera. Present, ma'am. Jonathan Vigil. Jose Rodrigo. Present, teacher. Juan Carlos Rivas. Laura Carolina. Present, teacher. María Concepción. María Elena. Present. I'm here. Mayra Moreno. Nelson Gabarrete. I'm here. Thank you. Then Omar, Omar Francisco. Listen. Okay. Oscar Arnulfo. Oscar. Present. Ah, okay. Thank Present. you. Zaira Marleni. Thank you. Wendy Zavaleta. Present teacher. Thank you, Wendy. And Jenny Suleima. Jenny? Teacher, I guess. Okay. Present okay, teacher. Brian. I'm here. Ah, okay. All right, Brian and Jenny. Okay, let's listen to your to your recommendations. I imagine you finished, right? Me imagino que lograron terminar. Or you didn't. Yes, you did. Okay, let's check your answers. We will start with group number one, Anna, Oscar, and Jenny. First, could you mention the situation that you selected, guys? Which situation was it? Recommendation to a group of customers are getting upset because the cashier is too mm -hmm. low. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. And what first, are the... Uh -huh. First, uh, the waiter should apologize with the client. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Anna? Mm -hmm. Okay. Second, the employee may like offer free drinks to customer will the waitings. Third, the manager could price the cashier. Oscar. Sorry, Anna, can you repeat number three? Dirt, uh -huh. the manager could try the catcher. Try. Training, training. Oh, train. Ah, okay. Train. Okay, yes. No tengo la presentación. I don't have presentation. Ah, okay. I don't can see. You can say, I can't. I can't see. Uh, I can't then see. the way. Mm -hmm. Si lo veo, Oscar. No. no. The way to... Me parece compartiendo. Right now it's bueno, loading. Eh. Ahorita está cargando. It's, it's loading. Okay. Now we can see it. Ready. Yes. It's there. Okay. Dear the manager train cashier. <laughs> Is for Oscar, forty-five. Okay, excuse me. Then the waiter should charge on the table, and finally, the waiter could offer this cone and the next visit. Okay, thank you very much. I appreciate it, Jenny, Anna, and, and Oscar. Good recommendations. I only requested the control of the screen, Jenny because I wanted to change this part. When you use, well, no, I can, I can modify it. I couldn't. But uh, when you use my like, use to. La número dos llevaba my like. Quizás se les olvidó, se les fue. Eh, hay que poner el to. And my like to offer free drinks. While waiting es como mientras están esperando a que les lleven la comida, ¿verdad? while waiting for the, the order. Ah, okay. Uh -huh, just that, 
but thank you. The recommendations look good. La de should y could no lleva to, así que está, está bien. Thank you. Now, group number two, Ellie, Galileo, and Wendy. Which situation did you choose? The same. Uh, the same situation. I, situation may number I five. share my uh -huh. screen? Yes. Okay. okay. Wendy or Francis? Mm -hmm. Please okay. read it. Me? Vaya. A group of customers are getting upset because the cashier is too slow. Mm, we recommendation, our recommendation is fair. The manager should apologize with the customer. Second, the manager explained the, there that the cashier is a new employer and he is in training. All of Banalero said. Wendy. Okay. After that, the manager need like to open other cash register. register. Uh, then the manager should offer to the customer turn turn on the new line to pay to pay. Finally, the customers pay for and they go happy. <laughs> okay, thank you, everyone. They look very well. Good ideas. Maybe the only comment. Galileo, uh, Wendy, and, and Ellie will be to, okay, I'm going to request the control of the, of the screen, Galileo, and I will uh, show you. Sentence number two, use should, could, my like to express or to indicate that it's a recommendation. Second, the manager might, might like to explain and then you continue. And the same with number five, the customer should, for example, pay for, for the food, for the food. <clears throat> ah, should pay and go, uh -huh, and, and go happy. Uh -huh, just those comments to indicate that it's a recommendation. Thank you. Now group number three. Thank you. Lily Nelson Saira. Hello. Hello. Uh, which you, uh, number three, teacher? Hola. Teacher, my, your mic on so I got the notification, sorry. <clears throat> Let me see. Okay, number three, a customer says, he found a toothpick in his food and that he will not pay for the food, right? Yes. Okay. So what are the recommendations? Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, voy a comenzar. Uh, mm -hmm. Finish the... No, perdón. First, call a policy to decline. After that, the two reassure the client to react and a grammatin. Ahí que siga la compañera. Then, offer to other option. Next, bring to a dessert or a drink, courtesy of the house. Finally, find him in a very nice way. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Saira, Nelson, and Lily. Maybe the only comment, guys, is use a subject. No escuché. Estaba en la palabra para mostrar recomendación, should, could, pero hay que should. poner a alguien como the waiter. The waiter or the manager should offer uh, a dessert. El sujeto. Mm -hmm. El subject faltó. 
Porque comenzaron con el verb, ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces hay que es, poner ahí el, el, el subject. El uh -huh. subject. Okay. ok, thank you. Thank you. Arnoldo en Laura. No veo ahorita acá quién más iba con ustedes. Brian. And Brian. Ah, ok. Can you continue? We pick uh, the, the situation number four. A customer is calling upset because he received the wrong delivery order. And Brian, read the number uh, one and two, Laura three and four, and I finish. Okay. Next, the agent might want to ask if client has a chance to order. Continuo o Laura? La una y la dos. Okay. Then the restaurant. No, número dos. Uno y dos, Brian. First and next. A and B. Oh, A and B. Okay. A and B. Okay. First, the restaurant called apologize for the mistake in the food. Next, the agent might want to ask if client accepts a change of order. Uh, see, then the restaurant might want to offer kill the order and receive a free shipping. Later, the agent might like to offer an additional discount on each on the next order. And finally, it should be offered as a uh, last option, a bottle of wine, as an apology, and kindly say goodbye. Wow, okay. that, that <laughs> is a good idea. Wine, but congratulations. Very good grammar, commas, uppercase. The structure is well, so no comments. Everything looks good. Thank you. Okay. Next group, Carlos. Omar, and who is the other person? Elena, right? But Elena, two connection problems. Okay, can you continue? Carlos, were you speaking? Because we didn't, we don't hear you, Carlos. <laughs> it happens. Teacher, okay. ya, ya, ya lo mencioné todo. No, mentira. Really? Eh, per, per, excuse me. It's okay. Situation. A mí también me pasa. It Situation. happens. A customer say he found the topic in the food and the he will not pay the food for the food. Recommendations. Fresh, the winner should apply with the customers. Uh, Omar, continue, please. Okay. Second, the wire me want to call for the manager. After war, the manager should change the food. Next, the manager might like to offer the sir free. Finally, the manager meet what to offer the discount in the next visit in the restaurant. Thank you. Thank you very much, Carlos and Omar. Good job. I appreciate it. And you added two, right? I vi que ya le agregaron el two. I might, might like. <laughs> Okay, Elena, do you have some? No sé si quiere leer los que hizo, Elena, before we continue. Yeah. I am um, chose um, number four. Customer is calling upset because he received the wrong delivery order. And the manager feared could be here. Uh, the customer and no interruption. Uh, second, um, 
he active listening um, for understand a uh, customer. Number three, later he could be chose the words for carefully. Um, number four, afterwards, um, he could be asking the customer to confirm um, he heard um, saying uh, the problem. And um, finally, empathizing. Um, manager might can help uh, fix the situation. Okay, you finish, Elena. You finish yeah. everything very fast. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Elena, in the last one, just use one. Solo utilice uno de, los, de las dos recomendaciones. Escuche might y can. Si no me equivoco, están juntos. Ajá. Entonces hay que poner might like or might want. And okay. erase can. Okay, but thank you, Elena. Well, congratulations to all of you. I can see you are improving and I'm, I feel very happy to see those, those improvements. Felicidades a todos. Voy viendo cómo van mejorando cada día, cada día más y, y me siento contenta de ver eso. So congratulations, I know it's difficult, but you're doing it every day is better. Okay, every day counts. I have some feedback, some feedback to give you to improve a little bit more. Talking about pronunciation, just um, this one, number one sounds apologize. That is the, the correct pronunciation. Some of you didn't say it like that. So it's apologize. And number two, might. Okay, remember it's might. Point number two, when you use might, might like, or might want, please use the preposition to. Okay. Cuando utilicen uno de esos dos, recuerden esto, que hay que colocar to luego de él, como que fuera todo junto, might like to, might want to, y luego el verb. Okay, ese fue el otro punto que vi algunas veces. And don't combine y no los combinen. Si utilizan my like, ya no necesitan should. O si utilizan my want, ya no usamos could. Only one, only one of them. And this could be an interesting fact. Y quería decirles algo sobre la palabra customer y la palabra client. Okay, porque ambos son como cliente, ¿verdad? Para nosotros. But they are a little bit different. No sé si alguna vez se han preguntado cuál es la diferencia entre uno y el otro. So I will tell you. Okay, I will, I will start in English. Okay, and then we will use a translator. Uh, Jenny, okay, Jenny. Tú nos dirás lo que me entiendes que doy en mi English, en mi English version. Y si no, pues, I, I will help. Okay, customer. A customer is a person who buys products and services from businesses and stores. It's like a long-term customer, a long-term um, business. A client is a person who receives professional services. And it's a long-term relationship for many years. The relationship is longer. A customer is short, maybe only one time, only two times, but the client, the client is more important. It could be two years with the company or with your business, three years with your business. It's a long time. For example, restaurants, Restaurants have customers, okay? But banks have clients, 
Why? Because restaurants, you can go one, two times, okay? Customer, but bank, you have a long, long relationship, okay? It's a, a longer relationship. So Jenny, what do you understand? Eh, the customers is, son los clientes que hacen una compra en una tienda y pues es una compra y ya. Luego los clientes son relaciones que tienen con una empresa a un largo plazo, como Ajá. el ejemplo que daba en un banco que es un cliente eh, que se mantiene ahí o, o un cliente frecuente también puede ser de un otro tipo de empresa. Correct. Ajá, Jenny, esa es la diferencia. Thank you, Jenny. Good job. Así mero es. Entonces, con restaurant se les dice customers porque no hay como algún contrato que los ligue por mucho tiempo, ¿verdad? A una compañía. En cambio, client eh, puede haber un contrato. Puede ser un lawyer, por ejemplo, una compañía. Puede ser una firma y hay, es un client. O cuando hay un banco, la, la relación puede durar muchos años. Entonces, esos son clients. Pero para un restaurant, para un store, para Walmart, Pricemart, ustedes serían customers. ¿Ok? Entonces, ese pequeño tip de cuándo podemos usar uno y el otro. No ¿Okay? sé, Miss, tal vez le podía entender yo, uh, bueno, lo entiendo de uh -huh. mi forma, ¿verdad? Que customer viene siendo como alguien de que consume algo. Ajá. Y traen algo. Ok. Ajá, es un servicio, un consumidor ¿verdad? de una tienda. Ah, ok. O sea, Podría haber una gran lealtad, ¿verdad? De muchos años, toda la vida en el mismo lugar, pero el término que se le da a ellos es un customer. Pero cuando hay, ajá, hay un, un contrato, contrato por más, decir. Ajá, más formal, podría decirse, que Escuela. es leal, hay lealtad a esa persona o compañía, entonces okay. se les llama clients. Client, client. Uh -huh. okay. Así que aquí son customers. Yes, Aira. De una casa comercial, alguien que compra productos a largo plazo, ese puede ser un client. Podría considerarse un client, aunque usualmente para stores, de lo que sea, se tratan como customers. Customer. Ajá, pero pues podría ser un client si usted lo ve en ese sentido de algo pues a largo plazo. Ajá. Okay. Ok. Una empresa, teacher, podrían haber los dos tipos, ¿verdad? Customer y clients. Como uh -huh. un mayorista que es frecuentemente compra, podría uh -huh. ser un client. Y un consumidor, un, un customer. Ajá, correcto. Hasta con las clases de inglés. Hay cursos, hay cursos que son como monthly, monthly courses, que son de cada mes. Ellos son customers, pero hay clases privadas donde firman contratos que solo es una persona y ellos son clients. Entonces son las dos en la misma company, pero depende, ¿verdad? Arnoldo, ajá. Por ejemplo, en Chivo, uh -huh. eh, hay by prepago, hay una customer. Postpago, you're a client. Ajá. That's the way it works. Ok. So let's go on. Right now we have the practical, the practical thing about what we're studying, role plays again. You are going to work in pairs and you have to choose one of the situations, okay? Ahora lo vamos a hacer ya en la práctica. Ahora van a, a lidiar con uno de ustedes que va a ser el angry customer, el difficult customer, y vamos a tener al manager on the other side. You choose You choose the problem and you will have a little conversation, okay, to have that customer happy. Vamos a hacer un role play, un pequeño role play donde uno de ustedes va a ser el customer y el otro va a ser el manager, okay. Entonces van a lidiar con alguna de estas situaciones, pero ya, ya como en, en el acto. Do you understand? Or do you have questions? Questions? No? No questions. Ok. Ok. Ay, ah, por ejemplo, si ven acá, a todos se les dice customer. Todos dicen customer. So, ok. Let me create the rooms. Let me create the rooms. Hi, Mayra. Nice to see you. Teacher. 
Yes, Arnoldo. I don't have the manual. Uh, I you can show me the the last picture one time. The book. For a moment. Uh huh. The book. Yes. Yes. Thanks. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. I finish. Okay. I'm going to send you the invite. Please accept the invite and prepare your conversation. Hi, Rodrigo. Lo voy a mandar a un grupo. Do you, do you hear me, Rodrigo? Maybe you can accept the... Room 7. Room uh -huh. 7. Yes. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Hello, Arnold. I don't hear you, Arnoldo. I'm not alone in this group. Yes, yes, I, I noticed that. I'm going to I send can, you to, to another group. I'm I going can prepare to... alone, <laughs> but <laughs> I don't know. Um, how, what do you mean? What? What do you mean? Like to prepare the dialogue, you mean? Um, alone. I'm going to send you to to another group, Arnoldo. Okay. Okay. I will send you to another group. You will be working with with Oscar and, and Elena because Oscar is not there. I think he is he is busy. Okay. Uh, that is from eight. Sí. Después, how can I help you? Ajá, how y después can preguntamos I help you? Después preguntamos el nombre. What's your name? Ahí. Uh -huh. oh, primero de una vez, mejor de una vez que, 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 que... O sea, el que exponga, ¿verdad? Mi nombre es Fulano Natal y yo compré, no sé qué. Podemos colocar una tercera persona que sea como el manager. O sea, como que el, ah. la persona del call center le va a preguntar algo al manager o algo así. Ajá, Porque pues al manager pongamos de 
Oh. Omar de manager. Okay. Entonces aquí, después de que me dice que eh, it's a pleasure to meet you. It's, uh, oh, oh, digamos so. es how can I help you. Y después sería... Ahí ya tendría que contestar usted oh. después de ahí. Sí, sí yo le diría. My name I, is I have Jenny. Uh -huh. My name is Jenny. I have a problem. My name is... I have a problem. I pedí es pedir I ask. 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 My order. Ajá, I... Sí, yo pedí mi orden hace una hora o algo así. For. I ask for my orders. orders. I ask for my orders. I ask for my orders. For my order. Uh -huh. I, I como yo tengo media hora esperando. I have. I. Yo podría. Sería mi Ajá. Con el algo es como que lo pidió hace 30 minutos, ¿verdad? Su orden. Sí. Ah, pues seis minutos. Ay. Oblicuo. Ay. Ay. Ay, my. Ay, teacher. How are you doing? Ay, my. Here I am. We are <laughs> in bent. <laughs> okay. Okay. Mayra ya se ya se ubicó. Mayra, ¿qué está pasando yeah. en la clase? Manito. Okay. Do you need my help? Uh, yes. Uh huh. We. We take the two options, the number two option. A customer uh -huh. is very aggressive to one of oh, the wow. employees. Uh -huh. So um, we are we understood that we will defend this topic uh, like like a dialogue. Mm -hmm. It will but, be a conversation. Mm -hmm. But uh, we need to be uh, fluent and natural. Uh -huh. uh, but the question is, we can breathe when we defend it or we, we are naturally? If you, if you like, we'll do it more natural without reading it. Like if you could have it like in your own notes, it would be better. But if this way it will be easier for you, you can you can do it like that. We can choose any, any mm. option. Yes. Yes. Okay, ma'am. Okay. okay. Anything else I could help you with before I go? Uh no. 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 Okay. I'm going to visit other rooms. Okay. And then okay. we will see each Thank other you. in the in the other room. You're welcome. See you. Thank you. Uh, the the applies or the case for that error. No sé cómo se diría. We can mistake. offer mistake. Oh, All okay. right. The applies. Uh, Ese es apologize, Ana. Apologize. All right. Mm -hmm. The apologize. Ahí lo mandé en el chat. Ah, okay. Mistake. We apologize okay. for the mistake. Or, también otros dicen inconvenience. Yeah. Or, okay. Uh, no sé si estaría bien aquí entonces, teacher. The apology on the case for that mistake, we can offer you another free dish. Ahí dice we. We apologize. Al principio. Um, o qué yes. palabra. Sí. We. 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 We apologize Ajá, for no the mistake. Sé. Y luego? Uh, the case for that. Eh, ah, vaya, póngale in this case. In this case. Uh -huh. 
emociones. Ok. Y ya no le ponga, bueno, póngale un sujeto de una vez. We. Le van a dar un dessert. Entendí, ¿verdad? O ofrecer. Yes. Sí. We, yes. Ahí pone ya el ajá, un plato. Mm -hmm. We could offer, offer you a dessert. Ok. Y como yo soy un cliente difícil, le voy a decir que no. No. Uh -huh. I want, I want my money. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. I want. Y agreguele ahí, uh, Eli. I want my money back. Uh -huh. Así lo. Uh, my bye. money back. Uh -huh. I want my money back. Es que ya lo tengo una vez. <risa> <risa> okay. Y entonces le voy a decir. My money back. And. No vuelvo a venir acá. Ajá. <risa> <risa> uh -huh. Tiene que ser un difficult customer. Y así dicen a veces, cuando quieren okay. hacer ahí drama o show. Cuando no ¿Cómo le puso? Le <risa> puso, I'm not coming back. ¿O cómo le puso él? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm uh -huh. not coming back. I'm not coming back or uh, I won't come back. That's another option. Um. Bueno, no sé si me había dicho el nombre, Eli, pero le diría, o no sé si podemos dirigirnos con el nombre, ¿verdad, teacher? O... Podría, si quiere hacerlo más polite, ¿verdad? Porque está tratando con su cliente y quiere ser más amable, puede decirle mem. Mem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mem es como qué? señorita. Ajá. Ah, ok. Entonces sería, men, you can take any special dish and discount on the next visit. Y así se escribe, mire, men. Ah, ok. En el apóstrofe. Mem. Eso no lo había oído, solo había oído como un mes. Mes. No, no lo había escuchado. Yo oigo no, que se lo dice este Galileo. Ajá, Galileo. Ah, sorry, me estaba. <coughs> um, es madam. Esa es como la manera larga. I'm sorry. It's me. I know. Give me one moment. Okay. Va, Eli, entonces, ¿qué le diría? Meant, you can take any special dish and this comes on the next visit. Mm. Ya no sé qué decir porque no soy cliente difícil. Ok, you can accept. You can accept. Ok. Her terms. I'm going to visit other groups. Ok. But you can Thank continue. You. You're doing well. Thank you, teacher. Ok. You're welcome. Thank See you. you. Tenemos sí, that, tenemos hungry. 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 In the home, in the home, en la casa. Tiene que ser enojado. Tiene que ser enojado. Tiene que ser enojado. Hi. Hi, teacher. ¿Quién va a ser el customer? Yo, teacher. Este Brian no quiso ser, quiere ser el que me resuelva. Es que él dice que desde hace... Eh, días, no sé, meses, trae un nudo en la garganta de desahogarse porque los de la pizza nunca le llevan la comida a tiempo. Ah, ahorita va a aprovechar. <ríe> Ay, me, voy, me voy a desquitar con él. Yo no me desquito, teacher, bien. yo acepto lo que, lo que me dan. 
Ay, qué bueno. Ay, sorry. Por la tardanza sí ya, ya, sí, no, por la tardanza sí ya he hablado para decir, mire, ¿y qué puedo hacer? Pues esperar, de todas maneras no me va a resolver rápido. Uh -huh. Espera, espera, la entiendo, me dicen. Por eso me uh -huh. ha puesto el que me entiende, pero aquí ve, I understand who you feel. Uh -huh. Ajá, eso Brian, está. Brian, sorry. Le voy a ayudar con unas, unos cambios ahí, Laura. O Le okay, voy a... teacher. Pero me gusta que lo está haciendo ahí con sus propias palabras, que no está utilizando por eso no, translate. Por eso nos, nos, nos tardamos, teacher. <ríe> sí, pero así debe de ser. Solo que acá donde dice my name is Brian, es como que, ¿qué quieren decir ahí? Is a sir, como es un placer. Ah, es un placer asistirla. Ajá, asistirla. It's a, it's a pleasure. O sería, ah, is a pleasure. Ajá. O no, no iría ah, vale, así. Sí. It's Está a bien pleasure. así, teacher. It's a pleasure to you help. To, uh, to serve ayudarte, you. help you. Or to help to you. To serve you. Mm -hmm. Sí, cualquiera de los to dos. Serve. Pero, Servirle. Ajá, cualquiera de los dos ahí. It's a, ajá. It's Pero it's ahí vos el Lord, porque el Lord te, le decía de, oh, de una o la otra. Ah. Uh -huh. Help you. Y hay que ponerle aquí it. Hay it, como o oh, it. Hay que ponerle una, una T. ¿A dónde, teacher? En este mismo, en el A, ah, en vez de it. Aquí sería it. Ajá, ajá. It, is. it is. or it is. O la abreviación. Ajá, sí. It's, it's y a pleasure to help you. Cugártelo. Y Yo ahí donde no dice... Ni, ni le contesto. Ajá. ajá. Ahí no es no say. recibí mi, mi order, ¿verdad? Póngale ajá. el I didn't. Porque el didn't es el no en pasado. Did not. Ah, uh, ajá, didn't, o oh, did not, ahí, ahí está ya. bien, ajá. did not receive my order, está bien para no olvidar, uh, pero aquí quisimos poner que la pedí hace 45, ya pasaron 45 I did not minutos, receive. si no póngale que, ajá, I did not receive my order, y, y la requerí hace 45, pero hace era la palabra que. Pero ese no. an, quíteselo, Laura, ese an. A 45 minutos. Entiendo, I, I did not request. receive my order. I requested. O sea, ese mismo, I requested 45 minutos. Y solo agregué le hago. Y ahí donde go. dice, everyone. Have hungry, en inglés se ocupa el verbo is, en vez de have, cuando uno tiene hambre. Entonces vamos a ponerle, everyone is hungry in the house. ¿Por qué, ¿Por qué is? Porque is. en inglés no se usa have, para eso se ocupa el verb to be, para explicar ah. uno cómo se siente. Pero aquí dice que todos. Ajá. No sería are. Todos. No, se toma como, como singular, everyone. Dijo. Todos tenemos hambre en la casa. En the house. I am so, vaya, Brian, dígame lo que quiere. I am sorry, lo siento, pero final, ¿qué me ofrece? Al final, al final, póngale que el que vaya a llevarle la pizza le haga un baile ahí como el tilín. Okay, le Ay, el no, no, Brian, usted ya, ya empieza con lo de la hamburguesa tilín. Mm. I am sorry, Brian. Black Weekend, aprovecha. Aquí, Brian, I am sorry. Lo siento, es porque lo que a veces me han dicho a mí es que el mismo que el operador dice que se va a comunicar con el motorizado para ver mm. si ya viene o con mm. el restaurante, a ver si ya despacharon, desde cuándo la despacharon. Pero como ahí es cosa incontrolable, eso, teacher. That is true. I am sorry. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Usted me va a decir que va a comunicar con quién, Brian? Con el gerente. O yo le pido que sí. se comunique, me comunique con, con el, el gerente. Hi. Hello, Arnoldo. I'm here. Are you here? I'm here. 
Hello, what happened? Why didn't you continue working with Zaira? And, and, no, era um, Elena, Elena and Oscar, right? Uh -huh. um, you were not comfortable. I, no I have, I have a, a headache, a headache. <laughs> Um, ah, okay. You... And I, I don't comfort them. Mm, okay. I decide out of the group. Uh -huh. Okay, but I understand. I... <laughs> yes, yes, you sent your role play. Uh -huh. Do you want to read it or do you want me to read it? I prefer no. Only review and... But I don't, I cannot read very well. No, no entiendo muy bien porque no le puedo dar mucho zoom. Okay. No uh, hey, my name is Arnoldo. What's your name? Hi, my name is Jose. I have a problem. Okay, how can I help you? I received an wrong order and I was called with you the, with the owner. Sorry, sir. I offer an apology for this mistake. If possible, that I can, I uh, should be something for you. Can you help me? Okay, I hear you. The restaurant might like to offer a chain of order or a gift for this, this mistake. Okay, maybe I might like to accept the chain of order, but what other option you can bring me? I could offer a special discount in his next order or a two for one promo or a 50% in his next delivery. What do you think? Accept? Okay, I accept the apology and accept a chain of order and a discount for my next delivery. Perfect, sounds great. In this moment, I change the order and send us your voucher for the next delivery. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Have a nice day. Thank you, thank you for your preference. Okay, Arnoldo, thank you. It looks very well. Maybe the only recommendation would be change, change the subject and the model. When you ask a question, for example, you can say, okay, what other options can you can you give me? What other options can you? No es you can, sino que hay que posicionarlo distinto. Can you? When you're asking a question. Así que that's the only change I would make. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. Thank you, Arnoldo. Okay. okay, guys, we will listen to your, to your role plays, to whatever you have. If you didn't finish, try to improvise. If you didn't finish, try to say something to complete the idea. Okay, room number one, Galileo, Mayra, and Nelson. Could you start, please? I wanna share my screen, teacher. Okay. Okay, Nelson, Mayra. Okay. Oh. You are a customer. Okay. We don't know you understand that I need black level liquor. I'm sorry, sir, but we have not this kind of liquor. I might like to offer red label. I don't know like a red label. Please let me let me talk to manager. Sir. May I help you? Yes, I need to buy a black belly liquor. This is a superman and you cannot tell that you are here now, stop. I agree, sir. Please let me explain what happened. First, the supplier came today to take a purchase order, then, he tell me he will ship the order at noon. And afterward, he will send our requires tomorrow morning. Finally, we will have stock tomorrow morning able to sell. 
you might like to come here tomorrow and I will give you a 15% off for the inconvenience. And I promise you that I will attend you personally. Sounds good. I agree with you. I will come here uh, tomorrow morning again. Sir, I hope see you tomorrow again. Okay, thank you very much. I could see that you use my light and you use sequence, right? Sequence works. So it was it was very well. Maybe the only two comments will be guys, past tense, eh, some verbs were not changed. Como está en pasado, algunas partes vi que no, no se cambió. Por ejemplo, donde dice el manager, first the supplier, y luego dice then he tell me. Ya sería he told me, he told me. So just make sure you, you change it when you use past tense. Y again, again no lleva G al final, Galileo. Solo, solo will be again, sin la, sin la G. Um, and then liquor. Suena así, aunque se escribe distinto in English. But it sounds liquor. Ah, uh -huh. liquor. That's the way it's. Yes, okay. but thank you. Thank you for your effort. It was very I'm, well. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, teacher. Mm -hmm. What was what was the word you said? You, you said again. Again. Ajá. Sin G. Mm -hmm. Sin la G al final. Así queda. Mm -hmm. Así va again. Ah, again. Ah, yes. Se me fue. Ahí. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you, guys. Omar, Wendy, and Jenny. Would you continue, please? Jenny? Hi. Hi. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Wendy. How can I help you? Hey, my name is Jenny. I have a problem. I asked for my order. I asked 30 minutes ago. Oh, I follow your order. You give me one minute. Hello, Omar. I have a customer in the in the other line. She is upset because her order doesn't arrive. There is an accident. Uh, it has general traffic. The guys place me my five minutes for the customer. Okay, you are very well. I say, I say the customer. Okay, Jenny, I am sorry Hi. so much. I am sorry so much is for an accident. Please wait five minutes, please. It's okay, Wendy. Thank you. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. It's my order. It's my order. Hi. Sorry for the light. Here's your delivery. Bon appetit. I give you rem remove that brooches for your next purchase. Thank you. Wow, oh, okay, very good. Uh -huh. Thank you. It was very, very nice to, to hear that. And very natural too. So I like that too. Okay, so only two comments. Wendy, when you use sorry, the... Estaba en mute todo el tiempo. Ah, no. No, no, no. Ah, okay. <laughs> Ni vi cuando se puso. Okay, Wendy, you can say, I'm so sorry. In vez de I'm oh. sorry so much, sería I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. okay. Yes. Correct. Y cuando llega el, el delivery guy, llega Omar ahí con la comida, eh, Omar, para disculparse, puede decir, I'm sorry for the delay. Esa es la expresión. I'm sorry for the delay. Aunque dicen de que es mejor dar gracias, ¿verdad? Como thank you for waiting. 
thank you for patiently waiting. Esa podría ser otra manera. I will send it in the chat. Thank you for patiently waiting. Okay. We appreciate or we appreciate your your um, your patience. That is another comment. We appreciate your patience. Okay. <laughs> well, let's see Carlos. Carlos and Lily. Can you continue, please? Okay. Situation. A consumer is angry because the restaurant overcharge for the food. Recommendation. Fear the cashier should review the order. Second, the cashier may, may want to call the manager. The manager should explain the error. Afterward, the manager may like to apologize with the customer. Finally, the manager may want to offer the discount in the next visit on the restaurant. Also, the restaurant give soda free. Finish. Okay, thank you, Carlos and, and Lily. It was different in the form of a dialogue. Era como en la manera de una conversation, but it's okay. All right, thank you. Ahí estaban todos los steps. Okay, um, with the other groups, todavía tenemos cuatro, ¿verdad? Cuatro parejas. Please send me your conversation by chat. Okay, send me the conversation by chat and I will read it. I will read it tonight or tomorrow, okay? Los que ya no pudieron pasar, por favor, me envían uno de ustedes, la conversation, y yo la voy a, a, a leer. Okay, but thank you. Thank you for your effort. I'm going to take the attendance, and then I'm going to stay with Omar. Okay, so let's begin. Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Lilian. Brian Javier. Present. Present teacher. Carlos Antonio. Present. Then Elizabeth Martinez. Present teacher. Jose Arnoldo. Jose Galileo. Present. Jose teacher. Jonathan. Jose Rodrigo. Present teacher. Okay. Juan Carlos. Laura Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you. Maria Concepcion. Present. Maria Elena. Thank you. I'm here. Mayra, okay. Mayra Moreno, Nelson Gabarrete. I hear okay. Miss. Omar Francisco, Oscar Arnulfo. Present. Okay, Omar. Okay, then Zaira Marleni. Present, Miss. Thank you. Okay, Omar. And then Wendy Maribel and Jenny Suleima. Present teacher. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, guys, you're free to go. See you tomorrow. And I hope you could, you can rest a lot. Bye. 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 Thank you, guys. You too. Thank you, Wendy. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Yes, Selena. Ah, she said goodbye. <laughs> okay, Omar, just hold on one moment. I'm going to wait just one moment. Okay, are you there, Omar? Okay, Omar. Hi, Omar. You're having issues with the connection. You disappear. Yes. <laughs> you disappear sometimes. Yes. I Sorry. know it happens. It happens sometimes. 
estos, so, estos días de que me, se me ha complicado. No, sé, no tengo la, la, la cámara encendida por eso, porque siempre mm -hmm. me <coughs> yes, Sí, sí, desapareció varias veces en la clase y de repente ya regresaba. So, it happens. Okay. Okay. Miss, tengo una yes. consulta. Tell me. Le voy a compartir mi pantalla porque eh, esta no, le no he logrado resolverla. Mucho. Entonces, Ajá. quiero saber ah. qué, qué ha sucedido, qué no he comprendido. Yo comprendí esto que tengo en este momento, pero si me dice que hay un error es, es porque algo no estoy haciendo bien. Ajá. Sí, la estructura no está, no está bien. Podemos, ajá, podemos analizar ahorita esto. Si quiere, le explico okay. bien qué pasa. Ok, ok. Ok. Vaya. Este, comparte. I'm just going to annotate. So, we have comparatives. And we use comparatives to compare two things, right? Utilizamos los comparatives para comparar solo dos cosas. Así okay. como acá, estamos comparando my house y your house, ¿verdad? Two places. Okay. Ahora, hay diferentes reglas para hacer comparatives. La primera regla, the first rule we study, is when you have one syllable. Adjectives with one syllable. Ok, esta es una de las reglas para crear el comparativo. Cuando solo tienen una, una sola sílaba, un solo sonido, Omar. Por ejemplo, big. Big, solo un sound, right? Una sílaba. O tenemos fast. Um, short. Mm. Low. Ok, todos tienen la misma, el mismo patrón, por decirlo así. They, they have the same pattern. One syllable. Ok, cuando tiene algo así, vamos a agregarle al final ER. Tiene que ponerle ER al adjective. ¿Cuál sería la forma comparativa? The big is bigger. The fast okay. sería faster. The short le hacemos el mismo, el mismo panel. Shorter, low, lower. Why? Porque ese er en inglés es como que usted diga, diga more, ¿ok? Es ese más, pero todo se pone en una sola palabra. O sea, ese ER significa more, mm. pero lo ponemos todo en una, sola, en una sola palabra. Es como more big, ¿verdad? Como más grande, pero okay, no se okay. dice more big. Ya se diría bigger. Oh. En ese ejercicio, Omar, lo que le pedía solo era el adjective y el comparativo. Solo tiene que poner bigger. Then, solo el adjective y el comparativo, no toda la oración también. Entonces, eso es otro que tenía que, que cambiar. Okay. Es este. Ajá, bigger y el then, que ya sería, ¿verdad? Como ahí en este que está, my house is, y ya quedaría así, bigger than yours. Que es para ya decir como que más grande que la suya, ¿verdad? Bigger than. Entonces, cuando solo hay una sílaba, cuando hay dos o más, ya no funciona así. Okay. Esa es la regla de uno. Uh -huh. Two syllables or more. Y le voy a dar unos examples. Uh -huh. Beautiful, handsome, intelligent. Ok, si usted cuenta, hay, hay más de dos. Beautiful, three. Yes. Handsome, two. 
intelligent. Ok, cuando son así, entonces aquí vamos a poner o usar more than. Por ejemplo, uh, Shakira is more beautiful than Thalia. Shakira is more beautiful than Thalia. I'm comparing okay. two people. Pero mm -hmm. mire ahora, ahora sí vamos a poner more y el adjective. Pero cuando solo es one syllable, no. Oh, ok, ok. Ok. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Además, okay. also, we have exceptions. Hay ex excepciones. Para todas sí. las reglas hay excepciones. Entonces, hay unas, unas palabras que aunque solo es de una sílaba, su, su comparativo cambia totalmente, que es el que le aparece en la tarea número 5. De esta misma le aparece good, si no me equivoco. Me aparece okay. good. Entonces, para good, el comparativo es better. Para bad, the comparative form is worse. And this one has two, worse or worse. Far, far que significa lejos, también cambia. Y es farther. Y esas son exceptions to the rule, porque solo es un sonido, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. pero, okay. pero cambia el comparative. So, that's the way it works. Ok, 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 esta regla, esto no lo, había, no lo había comprendido. Ah, ok, pero sí lo entiende mejor ahorita. Sí, 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 es, es, es correcto. Se compara, sí, son comparaciones. ¿Quiere probar? ¿Quiere probar como por ejemplo number two? ¿Cómo quedaría? Yes. Yes, lower. Ajá. It would be correct. Solo que en la tarea le pide que solo ponga beautiful then. Y todo eso ajá, se lo quitaría. Aunque creo que ahí le borró el more también. Ese sí, póngaselo, yes. sí. Yes. Ah, ahí está. More beautiful than yellow. Ok. Ok. Bueno, voy a concluir esto. Ajá. Ahora, mis, tengo este otro, mire. ¿Puedo borrar esto de acá? Lo que le he escrito. Sí, sí. sí. Okay. Yes, ya lo copié, ya lo copié. Quiero compartir este otro. Este, esta palabra, ¿cómo se dice? Read. Este. Y así, está, así se escribe. Eh, lo que quise dar a entender es como un... Como un los, los cupones o, o vales canjeables. Redeemable. Ajá. Redeemable. De, de canjeable. Ajá. Sí, Redeemable. Ajá. Redeemable. Fíjese que siento algo que no va así. Sí sé sí. cuál es la palabra de redeem, que eso es canjear. Y usted está diciendo canjeable, redeem, pero déjeme revisar, porque no estoy. Okay. Sí, porque muy son como cupones canjeables. Ajá. Ok. Thank you. Y te digo otro, Miss. Gracias por, por la paciencia. Algunas veces, no, igual, okay. por, por, algunas veces estamos en otras, este, por, por compromisos, pero igual trato de estar en la medida posible, igual participar. Y gracias por tomarme en cuenta. No, oh, you're welcome. It's a pleasure to have you here. I know, I know that you also try your best. Yo sé que usted también siempre está ahí 
esforzándose. Yo ahí le hablo y si usted ahí está, usted me contesta, ¿verdad? Y siempre yes, trata de, yes, yes. de participar. Y si no, pues ahí veo que me cae su mensaje explicándome. Así que se nota que también está comprometido. Y eso yes. es, es bueno. Yes. Thank you, Miss. Creo que... You're welcome. Eh, eso sería el momento. Ah, Miss, y, y mañana tenemos que concluir las tareas y está el corto. Quiz, de quiz. No, todavía no va ese, ese midterm. Es hasta la próxima ah, okay. semana, porque esta semana se expande. Entonces... Hay una tarea que puede completar, pero todavía no, no completamos la cinco. Si usted ve un tema que se ve raro, que no lo ha visto, no la haga todavía. Porque son okay. cosas que vamos a ver next week. Okay. Ya, ya revisé esa palabra, así es. Ajá. Es redeem, redeemable. 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 Ok. Mm -hmm. That is the, the pronunciation. Okay. Thank you, Miss. You're uh, welcome. Infinita, gracias. Okay. A pleasure to help you. Do you need tomorrow. anything else? Yes. No, I. Ya no hay más. Okay. All right, then. Well, in case you need anything, send me a message. Si necesita algo, mande un mensaje y ahí hacemos tiempo durante la clase para pues ayudarle, okay. ¿verdad? Okay, Omar. Good night. See you, See you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye.